Hey everyone, Happy New Year, uh, Feliz Año Nuevo. I'm here in Puerto Rico. You might be able to hear the music and the fireworks in the background. It's about, uh, I think around two o'clock on uh, New Year's Day, uh, 2013. And I wanted to make a year in review type of video about 2012. And um, to thank you all for watching uh, all of my videos, or thank you all for watching some of my videos. Um, probably no one has seen all of my videos. Um, that's a little bit obsessive. But um, it all started, in, I think, December 28th of 2011, when uh, my brother Luke and I came up with this crazy idea to do a two-week challenge uh, in which we just studied um, Arabic for two weeks. We knew nothing about it. Um, and the end point was to make a video and put it up on YouTube. And this was going to measure our progress and also... Um, make you look like a total fool if you didn't study uh, for two weeks. Um, the point, of course, was not to uh, learn the language as much as it was to get going in the language and get excited about a language and get excited about learning something new. Um, I still consider myself very basic in Arabic, um, but I know a lot about it now. I know. Um, well, one of the things that makes it hard is that there are different varieties of Arabic. There's Fusha, which is the modern standard Arabic, and um, every country has its own regional um, dialect. Uh, I can tell what uh, Egyptian Arabic sounds like now, and um, I've spoken with people from Yemen, and uh, um, and so uh, it's really, a really very, very cool language. I love the, the historicity of it, the structure where you have the three root system, for example, um, darasa, which means to learn, and this will change different patterns um, to give new, to create new words. So, for example, darasa is learned, or he learned. Um, uh, mudarris is teacher, dars is lesson, madrasa is um, school, and so on. Um, so, awesome way to make a language, and uh, and I don't know how they did it. But it's really cool. Uh, I, I definitely want to learn more, um, more Arabic, um, um, and, I'll, and I'll definitely study in 2013. Um, in the spring, I I did a, a one-month Italian challenge, which was different because I wasn't starting from scratch. But it was it's a language that I've never felt really good about um, because I'd never studied it very hard for very long. Um, and I'm really happy with, with the results of that, that challenge. That was all of April. And, um, man, I feel, I feel so much more confident with it now. Um, posso parlare, posso ascoltare molte cose, posso leggere abbastanza bene, ma um, um, uh, sicuramente ho bisogno di, di studiare più. Uh, uh, perché non posso parlare mm, uh, posso parlare meglio che um, l'anno scorso ma uh, c'è molte cose che, che dopo uh, uh, che devo stu studiare uh, so yeah I, I, I realize I, I'm still somewhat limited but I feel a lot better about it and, and can say much more and it sounds uh, I make fewer mistakes now than I did um, before I started the challenge. In July, I did a, a two-week Tagalog challenge. And Tagalog is really cool because it's written in the Latin alphabet, so you can read it. Um, and it has a lot of vocabulary that comes from Spanish and a lot that comes from English also. So it's grammatically 100% new and different, but um, you still kind of get a head start if you speak English and or Spanish. Um, I can say in this this language something like um, you know basic things like kailangan pagsasana, pero gusto kong magsalita ang Tagalog. Hindi ako pwede mabilis magsalita pero meron mga uh, Pinoy sa high school aki, akin, uh, his high school ko, I think, 
um, um, uh, yeah, that's it. And that's not all, but that's all I'll, I'll say for now. Um, I don't think you want to watch me sit and think about it for 20 seconds. So, um, in the fall, uh, I did a crazy challenge in which there were three languages, uh, Scandinavian, the Scandinavian languages, um, Danish, Swedish, and Norwegian. And uh, again, not starting totally from scratch because it is, uh, that being Germanic languages, they are related to English. Um, uh, and I had studied a bit of German before, so that, that was helpful too. Um, I made a video in Norwegian after about six weeks of study, about six weeks. And then I just made a video in Danish. I still owe you all a, a video in Swedish. Um, I can say things like, uh, in Swedish, I can say, um, ja, jag förstår det, um, många uh, ens, el, uh, enkla ting, uh, enkla ord. Um, uh, jag tror att det är, ja, tror att det är uh, en uh, intressant språk. Um, Jag behöver, uh, jag behöver mm, studera, studera mer. Um, I'll stop there. Uh, but it's fun, and I've watched a lot of um, uh, movies, uh, Swedish and Norwegian movies, and and they're really cool, and Danish TV shows too. So. Um, Again, oh, and, and um, my plan family is planning a trip to Norway in 2014, so it'll be an awesome chance for me to um, really work on my Norwegian and, and get it to be good for when I go. So those are, that's it, the, the four major challenges I did this year. Um, 2013, I will do some other crazy things, I expect. Um, and uh, I'll continue making videos, music videos, and um, um, Spanish videos and French videos teaching those languages and just others in which I talk about the language and about how to study. I'm also working on um, a technique to, that should help a lot of you, a little bit more formal um, advice for you guys. So thanks so much for watching my videos, thanks for subscribing, um, thanks for being uh, so encouraging and um, good luck in all your studies.